Good morning, Bearcats. Another week has begun, and another gospel will be read together. This is the gospel from Mass today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was a movie that came out in the late 80s called Crocodile Dundee, which is a story about this rough and tough Australian guy that comes to New York City and all of the crazy antics that happen after he makes his way into the Big Apple. And there's a scene where he's walking through the park. It's kind of a famous scene for the movie. He's walking through the park and some thieves hold him up and they've got a knife kind of threatening him with this knife. And uh, he sort of looks at him and he smiles and he says, that's not a knife. And then he pulls out from his back pocket this huge knife. It's like 10 inches long. And he says, this is a knife. That's my Australian accent. He kind of swings it at them and they run away scared. But he sees that they have this, this thing that they think is really the real deal. And he shows them really what a knife is. And I use this little story from Crocodile Dundee to help us be, better understand the different things that are being talked about between Jesus and the people in today's gospel. They want Jesus to do a miracle that gives them bread like you might find at the grocery store, food that will feed their stomachs and really bring them a satisfaction to the hunger that we all know and feel whenever we are about to eat a meal. But Jesus says, that's not real bread. That's not bread that actually satisfies. I am the bread of life. I will make sure that you never hunger. But how is that possible? How does Jesus actually become bread that feeds our hunger? What does that even mean? What that means is that Jesus is the bread of life who feeds our souls with life that doesn't just get hungry again, but life that is eternal, life that satisfies us completely. The bread that we buy at the grocery store, even the manna from heaven that our spiritual ancestors ate as they journeyed in the desert as they left Egypt, does not change the fact that we will be hungry again, and it does not bring us into eternal life. This type of bread is not truly life-giving bread. Jesus is the bread of life because he feeds us with life that never ends. Jesus feeds us with life that conquers death. That is the bread of life. And he left us a way to start to eat this bread and the Holy Eucharist. The Eucharist joins us to the body of Christ. Another word for the body of Christ is the church that Jesus left us. Through the Eucharist, Jesus feeds our souls with a bread that feeds a hunger that goes even deeper than the hunger we feel when it's just about lunchtime. He feeds us with the hunger that we have for a living relationship with God. So now when we go to the grocery store, when we're about to eat a hamburger, when we're about to sit down for lunch, we can remember the words of Crocodile Dundee again. Even as it's important to eat, we can say, that's not real bread. Jesus is the bread of life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.